Hey guys, Jared here. Just wanted to come talk to you all about a topic that's been in the news recently. Um, as of the recording of this, and we're recording this in September of 2024, and that is the Oak Hill Plantation in Danville, Virginia. There have been talks that a slave cemetery on the property is being moved, and there's a lot of commercial development going on in and around the former plantation area. So we wanted to come share with you all some facts, some stories, uh, about why that property is historically significant and relevant and we're going to share with you all some photos of Oak Hill in its current state. I'll be sharing with you about 80 photos that I took on a recent trip to Oak Hill so you can see the current state of the house and the grounds. Now some of the photos that you see in here are not mine. They come from the application for Oak Hill to be on the National Registry of Historic Places. So those can be found online as part of that application. So I hope you enjoy uh, learning more about Oak Hill and hopefully you learn something that you didn't before. So this is not intended to be a documentary on Oak Hill, just a quick video to share with you all some facts and uh, stories about Oak Hill that we've learned by researching it. Uh, so to start out, uh, Oak Hill was built in 1825 by Samuel Harston, who was the son of George Harston from Beaver Creek, making him the third generation Harston to live in Southern Virginia. Robert Harston, who was George's father, moved uh, into Henry County, or what is now Henry County, in the 1740s. And then George established the Beaver Creek Plantation uh, in 1776. And then his son Samuel uh, built Oak Hill in 1825. Um, Oak Hill is built on a hilltop just west of Danville, and it is currently on the Berry Hill Road. The Berry Hill Plantation, which was also owned by the Harston family, is just down the road from Oak Hill, and the Berry Hill Plantation is where the Harston Family Cemetery is. Oak Hill is a Federal-style uh, brick home. It was a very large home, uh, you'll see in the, the pictures here, uh, and it was two and a half stories. So that bottom story wasn't really a basement, wasn't really a cellar, it was half above ground, half below, so we say it was two and a half stories. It was designed by James Desjarnay, who designed many grand, elaborate homes uh, in Southside, Virginia. Uh, one example that I can think of right offhand is Mountain View, which is over near Chatham High School. So uh, go look that up. It's also on the National Registry of Historic Places. You can see another example of his architecture, but very grand, elaborate designer. And speaking of the National Registry, Oak Hill was put on the National Registry in 1979, but it was delisted in 2001, probably due to the fact that in 1988, it was burned by vandals who were living in it. Uh, the Harson family had moved away from the area and had kind of left the house sitting there. Vandals moved in and it caught fire in 1988 and burned. And what you're seeing pictures of here is the inside remains of the house, essentially the, the, the exoskeleton of it. But as of the recording this in September 2024, last month in August 2024, Oak Hill was just relisted as a national are relisted on the National Register of Historic Places. So that's great. It's going back on the list uh, to be protected and documented for the future. The house itself was very elaborate. And if you want to read more about it, uh, you can read the National Registry application. It's online. It's uh, free to read. And I could spend, you know, 10 minutes reading all about the different staircases and mantelpieces and the different wains coating that they had inside the house but that's all in the application you can go check it out very elaborate house a bit more about the grounds itself though the grounds itself there was a lot of old oak trees which could have been how it got the name oak hill i'm not 100 percent sure about that if you know please leave it in the comments but there were a lot of old oak trees there and, and there still are and then around it uh, the house, they had very picturesque landscaping, including trimmed boxwoods, magnolia trees that were apparently, uh, the seeds came from Florida, and olive trees, and uh, Oak Hill had its own grove of olive trees, and the olive trees were said to have been imported from the Middle East, from present day Jerusalem. So that was just a sign of the wealth that the Harsons did. They would import their boxwoods from England. There's a few trees at the Beaver Creek Plantation that were from the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Oak Hill had olive trees from uh, the Middle East. They imported them straight from there. So the yard around the house was terraced. It would go out for 
about 50 60 yards or so and then it would tear us down and it did this all the way especially on the south side of the house all the way down to the train station yes oak hill was so big and so elaborate that it had its own train stop on the Danville and Western Railroad, also known as the Dick and Willie. So if you look at old maps of the Dick and Willie that runs from Danville to Martinsville, there are different stops along the way. And one of the stops is Oak Hill. Oak Hill had its own stop on that train line. At one time, the Oak Hill property covered tens of thousands of acres. And between Oak Hill and Berry Hill and the other Harston plantations, in Henry County and Pennsylvania County, it was said that a traveler could go from Danville to Martinsville and never leave Harston property, which is a stretch of about 20 some odd miles today. So imagine driving down Route, uh, what is currently Route 58 in Danville. Back then it was the Danville with full turnpike. But imagine traveling from Danville to Martinsville and staying on the same family's land. That shows you how wealthy the Harston family was. Um, in the mid 19th century, the Harson, uh, or excuse me, Oak Hill plantation, uh, was lived in by Samuel for years. And it was a very prominent place in Danville. So prominent that during the end of the civil war or right, I can't remember if it's right before Lee's surrender or right after, uh, I believe it was right after. And again, if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments, but right, right after Lee's surrender, uh, Lee's right hand man. General James Longstreet was heading south towards New Orleans to establish a business. He stopped at Oak Hill and stayed the night. It's in his journals um, that he stopped here and he it has he talked with uh, Samuel Harston and had dinner there, stayed at Oak Hill, and he had very nice things to say about Oak Hill. Um, Oak Hill also was a major site for uh, en enslaved people at any given time there were anywhere from 16 to 1700 slaves on the oak hill property and between oak hill and the other smaller properties around that samuel harston either bought or inherited um, he himself had about a network of 3,000 slaves or so but there were anywhere from 16 to 1700 slaves alone at oak hill the slave quarters at Oak Hill are unlike many other plantations across the South in that they were brick and you'll see some pictures here. It was kind of like a long, uh, almost like a, a, a dormitory, uh, for lack of better words, it's a long structure that was divided into small, a smaller, essentially like apartments, uh, where the, the slaves lived. And it's unique because you don't really see too many brick slave dwellings, uh, in this area. Uh, in this era or just with with plantations in general, but Oak Hill did have um, brick slave quarters. There is the slave cemetery on the property that, that is uh, discussed uh, about being moved. Uh, in a low estimate, there are about 175 to 200 graves there. There are probably more given the amount of slaves that were at Oak Hill, uh, which shows why this is an important site uh, for the heritage of many people who uh, live in Martinsville, Henry County, Pittsburgh County, Danville today, especially those who have the last name Hairston, who were connected to this property. Many of their ancestors did live here at the Oak Hill Plantation. So that's just like a very quick overview. Hopefully you got something from that that uh, you learned that was new. Uh, if you have any more questions, drop them in the comments. We'll get them answered. And Thank you for watching and supporting our channel, and we'll see you next time.